Hey, this is Joyce Chow for MBN, a new video while well, we are here at the ESPN SB Style Studio. We are Jeff Ben, and I'm the product manager for the HP Touchpad. Now, the Touchpad is one of your new products that you guys are just coming out, and you're showing this to the athletes here today? Absolutely. It's just released on July 1st, so it's been out for less than two weeks, and uh, we're super excited. It's the, the result of a year's worth of work after uh, HP and Palm came together uh, about a year ago, on July 1st. And unlike other tablets, this one happens to be on the Palm operating system. It's up. It's, uh, it's, it's on HP WebOS now, and WebOS is really unique in that uh, the way that you interact with it is um, is sort of all around multitasking and about consuming content in, in the web, in the cloud, and it's built from the ground up to, uh, to do that in a way that's really unique and, and really different. So I'd how be happy to show you. Yeah, we would love to. Sure. Of course, you want to know how it makes it different for you as a, as a viewer, Clearly. right? Or as a user. Right. Right? Well, just, just turning it on, I think you can see how different it is already. So. Um, all of these, uh, what we call cards, these are all running applications, right? And you can see that um, rather than focusing the user interface on just shortcuts or icons that you hit to launch an application, we actually show you the applications you have launched so that you can see what you're working on. Now that makes sense. Right, and you can get more done this way, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see that I have actually, let me, uh, let me pull this card apart. So you can see how you can actually have cards or, or running applications grouped together the way you want to, um, or you can have them uh, you know, individually by themselves. So here's my calendar, here's my photo application. It's pretty obvious to see almost you know, just by looking at them here, rather than the icon, the application's running and I can see what I'm doing. So here's my email application, here's a Twitter application, Here's a messaging application. Here's a web browser. This is my app store. And here's an app I purchased on the app store. This is Angry Birds, of course, right? So all of these things are running. And to switch to any of them, I just tap on uh, the running application, and I can pick up where I left off, right? So here's Angry Birds. And I can run it on the touchpad. That was a good shot. You've been practicing this. And then any time I'm done with the application, or and get back to work, right. I just hit my what we call the card view button and I can, I can get back to whatever application I want to. My, uh, uh, now I'm in the uh, browser, for example. But from wherever I am in the interface, not only can I see all the applications that I'm that I'm running, but I see all of the notifications that come in at any time. They just park themselves kind of unobtrusively at the top. So you can see I have two email accounts I'm monitoring here, and I'm in the web browser. I don't have to jump to the email application just to treat triage my email, I can actually just do it from here. I can just swipe through my inbox and see my messages. And if anything's important, I can just tap on it and go to that message. Right? Well, these are things you're only going to find on the HP Touchpad. That's right. On, on WebOS, it's very unique. Um, when I'm in the email application, you can see I have my two inboxes here. I have one selected. This is my Google inbox. But I can take this pane and slide it over. And now I just see my Google inbox and the message. Right. Okay. If I want to get back and switch to my other inbox, I just slide that back, I select anything in, the, in this inbox, and then I can slide this panel back and, and, and deal with the email as I want to. Oh, that is cool. Very interesting in WebOS is I can reply to this message, and you can see that I just did what's called card stacking. So the operating system knew that I was launching a reply from an inbox, and it grouped them together. And you can see that if I go into card, you can see the reply is grouped with the inbox that launched it. If I, uh, in most operating systems, I would have to reply to this message or I'd have to save it as a draft to get back to my inbox. With WebOS, I can just get back to my inbox and continue on with my wait and get to that reply at any time I want to. Because it's just another task to us. As a matter of fact, this task is really important for the work that we're separating out from the big task and doing it way up front. And then I can get back to my inbox if I want to. So all of this is my almost like my desk. Yeah. Everything's all stacked up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So if you're going through all this, well, if what you see on your desktop, so say yeah. morning, it's real. That makes sense. I see the first one. I got my flash drive. I got all the way up here. It's exactly the same. It's a, it's almost 10 inches. It's 9.7 inches. It's 1024 by 768, which is a web resolution. Our web OS app. Our 
yeah, we think that uh, that resolution uh, helps you use it in both uh, course and uh, uh, Whereas some yeah. some yeah. HD yeah. resolutions are yeah. too they're just landscape yeah. they're yeah. too yeah. narrow yeah. in portrait. It's not flat to the flat. Well actually it has flash tape browser. Exactly. Yeah, that's really good. If you go to the browser, that's bad. I got a lot and I were to go to flash at the uh step most on most tablets that don't support flash just become the long way. The Gmail site would deliver a very different page to your browser. Here it's actually uh, delivering Flash, and it's actually loading Flash now, and it's going to give me the Flash content. So uh, on the uh, iPad, you would get a very different page. It wouldn't load up Flash, and it would give you a very different looking page. Here I can actually see, um, you know, a particular video, and it should play Flash video for me. And I think the idea behind having Flash in your in your browser is that it's the full web, right? Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to. Yeah, you shouldn't have yeah. to see something different on your mobile device. Yeah, I, I, I like that too. And you can hear me now. And the last audio that we can is that all the goals we've done is go to the downstairs and the big one. So, 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 if I were to pick it up, so it's not charging anymore. And our accessory is just a, a little stand that you put the device in. As I, as I rest it in the stand, you can see now it's charging. So it charges without any kind of connector. Oh, that's nice. It just sort of rests on the stand. If I get a phone call for us and sitting on the counter, and you can do that in both landscape and portrait. Okay, now we're going to start with Everything just works together. Did you come out with a lot of accessories with the laptop? We did. So, so this is addition to the touchdown charging now. So it's we have a Bluetooth keyboard. And we have a case that can be, uh, that you can be purchased. Well, it's in the case. It can still charge inductively. Do you want to go through all that? Do you want to go through all that? Of course. So the Apple is loving this. So I'll give you the uh, yeah. like, uh, everything that is so unique about the shelf start. Do you have any questions? So we'll be glad to answer for you. Um, set up wherever else. Check it out yourself. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to touch it yourself. Well, you have to do that too. Because it is a touch pad. Absolutely. So let me show you touch to share. One last feature I think okay. you really need to see. So we launch a browser window here. And if you have more than one WebOS device, like a touchpad and a Pre-3, this is the uh, a phone that's coming out um, later. Uh, this oh, you year. are teasing us. It's not even out yet. It's not. This one's not out yet. But let me go to, well, let's go to, say, a recipe site or something. Oh, we know what you do when you're not working. And if I happen to have this and I'm on the couch and I'm looking at some recipe, um, say this one for instance, and I get a, a recipe that includes all the ingredients, and I want to go off and shop with this, yeah. and I don't want to take my touchpad with me to the store, I might want to take my phone with me to the store, so I should just be able to touch these together. And then that web page, that long URL, um, actually gets transferred to this device. Really? And it goes to that same page. So now I have those ingredients in my pocket and I can go off to the store. So you can that see it here. That's cool. <laughs> now that, of course, only happens with that phone. That happens with uh, WebOS phones that are compatible with Touchstone uh, and have Touchstone built in themselves. This is an H5 and HP also. You go to ESPN's page. Very easy. One last thing. By doing these things, when they're paired up and they say that touch to share, I can also, when I get a call on my phone, my touchpad can ring, and I can pick up the call on my touchpad if I want to. If I get a text message over the net, wireless network from this device, I get the notification here. I can respond to the text message on my touchpad. Be basically focused on this. Well, you get you get best in class whatever device you have that's with us, right? So you can make it up your hour of terror and stuff. It doesn't necessarily you pair up your device with your Android or iOS or something. Okay, so it always works best just like the other like parts too in the manufacturer. It's better to get them where else in the world. Well, Jeff, this is bad. If you're on the
Well, I think they can go to uh, hp.www.touchpad, or they can go to hpweboss.com and get their own domain for the webOS. And that will, that will lead you to how to purchase the device, how to buy accessories, how to buy them, and all kinds of support.